Hello, here we have, this is part one of a number of short videos which we're going to make this scene from the Somerset levels. So we've got little stencils and a background that show that kind of murmuration of starlings and then I've also done some of the little pollarded willows and wreaths and things. What you're going to need for this is some acrylics, a craft knife and cutting mat, um, some inks as well or very strong uh, kind of intense watercolour would also be fine. Um, you can do something a little bit experimental as well with tissue paper and things which I'll show you in a moment. Um, I've done a couple of these to sort of when my working out I'm going to do it. Um, so this one I've got kind of a bluey sky underneath my um, stencil so I'm just going to show you how I did that to start with. Okay. Now I've just used a sponge, where's my sponge? Um, I'm just going to wet the paper a little bit to start with and then I've got some blue acrylic and a little bit of white acrylic so I'm just squeezing out not much just a bit of that into a small palette or a little sauce or whatever you want now quite a wet sponge so lots of white you don't want it too blue and then I'm just going over can you see in quite a random way it doesn't need to be neat it can be quite sloshy and messy okay so that's kind of that's kind of it okay I do have a different version as well where you can stick I started it here where you can stick some tissue paper um, I'm going to just put this, this needs to dry before you can go on to the next stage. Um, this is also, it's quite good if it's a nice hot sunny day, but this whole process means lots of sort of um, do a stage, let it dry, do a next stage, let it dry. So I'm just going to put this down to one side to dry. I have done another one here which where I've stuck bits of tissue paper. So I've just ripped up some blue tissue paper and stuck it down and then a little bit of white scrunched up paper and then I painted over that. So this is just an, a kind of experimental way of making the sky to make a kind of richer textured background um, and I'll see how that looks. It might not come out very well but um, it's kind of fun to try different things. So I've got now uh, one I did earlier which is my blue sky which has dried now and I'm going to put some ink on it to show that kind of swirly murmuration uh, look in the sky. I'm going to just have a little practice first to show you what I mean. So have a little practice before you go in on your, um, oh, where's my, I'm going to wash that off a bit. So with a wet sponge I'm just going to swirl around. You want it really, really wet. Okay. And also you want to leave, to do it on where you could leave this piece of paper overnight. Now, I've got some drawing ink here, but you could use a kind of quink ink or you could use um, sort of black watercolour that you uh, mix up quite strongly. So I put a tiny bit into the lid of my paint there. And I've got a very weeny little brush, but actually you could just use the, 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 the end of the brush if you haven't got a tiny brush. Now where it's wet, I'm going to just swirl around and can you see that starting to... I'm going to actually add a bit more water to that. And this sort of weather, it dries so quickly. So you can see now it's ever so wet. And what I'm going to do is now is just swirl that in. And then that is kind of going to do its own thing. But I want that to happen on the real thing. So I'm going to put that to one side. Carefully it doesn't spill. So I'm going to make some wet here. 
I'm going to make a swirly mass of water and then I'm going to get my little bit of ink, Whoa, that's far too much, and I'm just going to Let that swoop into there. So swoop into there. And then I'm going to leave it overnight. And that will do its own thing and slowly merge into the background there. Okay, and I will see you in part two.